CN's John Dabkovich spoke today with Capital Factory CEO Joshua Baer about the culture clash between the tech world and the Pentagon and why he thinks the new Army headquarters is bigger than landing Amazon's new headquarters. I think it's interesting because a lot of people think of the culture of tech businesses, be it Austin or Silicon Valley, being very different than the Pentagon. Yeah. How do you see those two things meshing? Well, I think that's exactly why they're coming here. Right? The Army's trying to do things in a new way, in ways they haven't done it before. And part of that is being able to connect with new ways of identifying, sourcing, and, and, and implementing technology, because technology is such a key piece of any kind of future solutions that they're going to work with. Do you think having this Futures Command in Austin will bring in other tech companies that are looking to get a piece of that sort of defense budget, if you will. You know, I definitely think that the Futures Command being here is going to be a major magnet and draw to the entire Texas region. And when I've, the things I've seen in the press so far, I think they've kind of missed the boat because they've really focused on the number of jobs of people who are going to work at the Futures Command, mm -hmm. which is estimated to be now at about 500 people. And while that's great and really exciting, that's not the scale and scope of this. Everything I've seen, Army Futures Command coming here is bigger than us getting Amazon's new headquarters. This Explain is going to be because this group, that group of 500 people, controls the whole R&D budget for the entire Army, which is probably one of the biggest R&D budgets in the world. It's billions and billions of dollars, and those people are going to live here. And so, if you think of the attractive magnet of that, all the companies and people, big companies and small companies and others that are going to want to be around that. So, do you see a future where Austin is one day known as a military town? You know, I think San Antonio is military city, and we're not going to take that away. And that's one of the great benefits they have of being here is they're so close to that. We asked the general leading the agency about the key incentives that helped the Army pick Austin. He told us free lease space in the UT system building downtown and a still unnamed state of Texas incentive still in negotiations.